But, you know, if I'm to be totally candid about it, at the point that things went haywire at Evergreen, I had watched video of you reacting to protesters in Toronto. And it had made so much sense to me uh, at a number of different levels. You know, I recognized you as somebody who knew that although the initial proposals were arguably symbolic, that they were connected to things that ultimately were very much about an exercise of power and a transfer of well-being, and that it was therefore, um, you know, you felt obligated to stand up and say no, which resulted, as you know better than anyone, in you being mocked for overreacting. And then here we are years later, and it turns out that you saw with absolute clarity what others couldn't even imagine. Yes, but so, I certainly didn't see what was going to happen to me. Right. With well, clarity, you know, so being right. quite I, I don't a strange think it, route. It wasn't possible to see what would happen with specificity mm -hmm. to you. But I th am I correct in uh, seeing that you knew that something very dramatic was likely to come from your standing on principle and that that didn't provide any license to do anything but make that stand? I, I really can't say, you know. Um, it's, a, it's a while ago now, so that, that's part of it. But... So much has happened to me that's been so strange in the last four years that I have a very difficult time making any sense of it. I can't even really think about, especially the last two years, I can't really think about them in any consistent and comprehensive way. I mean, my, my family situation has been so catastrophic and my illness and my wife's illness, it's just been, although she recovered completely, thank God, it's just been so utterly catastrophic that, that my, my thinking about it is unbelievably fragmented um, and I'm I'm struck dumb still to some degree by by all of what emerged as a consequence of me making the first videos that I made you know I went downstairs talked to my wife and my son my son was living at home at that time temporarily and I said this piece of legislation is really bothering me because it calls for compelled speech, and I looked at the background documents, and something wasn't right. And I said, I, I need to say something about it. They said, well, go for it. You know, we'll see what happens. And all hell broke loose and continues to break loose, for that matter, which is one of the things that's so bloody strange about it, is it doesn't seem to end. And I would have thought, when it first started, I thought, oh, well, you know, I'd be a flash in the pan for a week or something or two weeks or a month or six months or a year or two years or but it doesn't stop and i really can't understand that it's 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 beyond my comprehension